So, I naturally hate liars. Um, and that's all pretend a lot narcissist ever was to me. Uh, why? <laughs> Play the same old record. Because Earth is hell. My Earth was the major. I mean, my Earth was con total hell. And, to, and at the end of 2020, October, November, December, living with that creep. Pretend a lot narcissist. I'm forced to live with it. The worst Thanksgiving I ever had. I'm screamed at for trying to greet a family. Because God knows. My God. My God knows. He had to watch me 24-7 for two months. That wouldn't make you go totally insane? No. I, I finally parked my husband's red caravan outside in the alleyway. I finally, you know, had a little bit of breathing. You know, a little, you know, I tried to live. That's all I ever tried to do. Especially around a monster like pretend a lot narcissist. And then, oh, he's a little tiny, little fragile, little... Ugly old man. No. Apparently he's strong. Just like my ex was. And my ex, uh, really, uh, traumatized. The poor girl. I mean, and I, God, there's just so many useless, horrifying men out there. You know, they hate themselves. Well, then fine. Go kill yourself then. My ex and pretend a lot of narcissists should just party together and die. Yeah, just, just go kill yourself. Yeah, I don't care. Go pick out a poison and, and go kill it. You know, I... Okay, I'm not supposed to say that. Okay. I hope somehow that my ex and who uh, beat up a homeless girl recently and pretend a lot of narcissists I hope that they are not in denial and that they are able to say of the awful things that they did and what and who they really are. I hope that they are able to do that. There. And that's all, you know, your state of mind. That's where... Your state of mind has to be. It doesn't matter about your stupid clothes, you know. Really? Yeah, I had this old black t-shirt since my uh, dead husband uh, when we were alive. Like in probably 2018 when I met him. This is the same old black t-shirt. Who gives a shit? That's all he wore. He's a fucking... I joined his cult. <laughs> Only one person. <laughs> <laughs> and he wore black, and we, we stayed at Four Seasons, and whenever he had to go in town to get to his appointment, counselor, pick up tobacco, pick up the mail, whenever he had to go in town, just what I wore. I, I didn't give a shit. Uh, you know, he treated me so bad, like, pretending a lot of narcissists. Like, I just, I wore black. I deliberately wore my black. I could care less. You know, I... Uh... <laughs> our honeymoon, like... We didn't even have one. <laughs> there was no honeymoon. We got married at the district... Oh, uh, uh, somebody... Uh, so I was interrupted, and I'm just gonna go on a topic of forgiveness. It's not possible to forgive a child molester. It's not. And ev evangelical John Heggie, and I have to say that his Jesus is different from my Jesus. Okay, his Jesus, all those e evangelicals, I used to call them evil angelists, but guess what? Everything's evil in this world, so why pick on one? You know, why pick on someone who's doesn't do that much harm, I, you know, and all, you know, they're not fucking child molesters, you know, that, child molesting is like, you're destroying a life, and, and the, when hell earth, it, it's done all the time, and, and 
how could you even possibly live when you know that you're sex trafficking children? Uh, you know, like, how? How could you even, um, how could Epstein live? Epstein was a child. I don't even know. I don't want to know, but I kind of do like, to be able to, like, communicate a little bit better of sickos out there. Epstein is one. Uh, his crazy millionaire dollar house, he had, uh, crazy pictures of Bill Clinton. Apparently him and Bill got it on, and he loved Bill Clinton in blue dresses. So I remember from a little short little, here, you want to see Epstein's uh, millionaire mansion? What he had in it? Like, I no, I don't want to know. Oh, God. Okay. Like, like okay. Whatever. I, uh, whatever. Um, so there is no forgiveness for deliberately scheming to destroy a vulnerable victim. And that's all insane abusers do. They know what they're doing. So then when Jesus went across said, Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Yes, they do know what they do. Yes, pretend a lot narcissists knew, schemed out. Oh, she put her money in her red coat. She has two pockets. She showed me the money. Look, I have four hundred dollars in twenties and four hundred dollars in one hundred dollar bills one in each pocket one's twenties and the other one's one hundred dollar bills oh he made sure he grabbed them first thing i did when i woke up out my drunk drunken stupor and i should have been in the car safe with my eight hundred dollars no he had, he had to he had to bang on my uh, husband's red caravan, almost done it, really, really angrily. Open up the door now! It's evil. Why? So you can steal my money. So I, I kept my money, you know, I always. Not anymore. Um, so. It was awful. Just awful. He'll never admit to that. Why? Well, I gave back the hundred dollar bills, didn't I? No, you didn't give them all back. Cause he had me, and and it's like you know I was his um victim. I was I he loved torturing me. Well, of course, steal all my money. I I can't do anything else. Steal all my resources, so I can't do one fucking thing without this fucking piece of shit. Making me go insane. It's to watch every single fucking thing I do. Disgusting. Just totally disgusting. Horrifying. So, um... Why did I... Yeah, uh... I... You can't forgive... Um... Insane, deliberate, okay. insane abusers who do things deliberately to destroy your life. That's non-forgivable. It, it really is. Like, you know, like, to do anything that they can do to destroy you, that, that's not right at all. People do not... Uh, no one has the right to kill you and in every way that's what pretend out narcissist did I mean he, look, look what he did he raped my kids he raped me I mean can you get any could I have had let me think could I have had a worse for, my husband was awful but he couldn't have sex because he was impotent just like my ex of 2021, but that doesn't put them past beating up a woman 
my ex and my the my dead husband doesn't put them past beating up a woman um it pretend a lot narcissist didn't care to try to suffocate me to death on his kitchen floor who had his I had him. he had his hand that where I couldn't breathe I I I, I I did all I could to try to survive that night of him uh, stealing my $800 and I screamed and he threw me on the kitchen floor and suffocating me. And I had to do everything in my power. I think I had um, God's angels around me to push him off. Like to literally, I mean, he had all of his demons, you know, hold me down. And all, all he wanted to do was kill me. All he wanted to do was destroy me. You know, every, every single little scheming little angle that he had to, to try to destroy me. Watching stupid retarded videos and, you know, like this one right here right now. <laughs> um, I had to say, um, half of my videos that I do... If I edited them, it, they would be a lot better. But, you know, it's like the real deal. It's just, you know, me talking. Um, and I don't agree with half of the videos that I do. I mean, half of what I say is fine. The other half, eh, just delete it. You know, erase it. And I, you know, but life's boring. Life is hell. And life is hell because there's a million pretend a lot narcissists in this world there are a million people who make you want to die and unfortunately that was the majority of my life you know i can't help it you know i had him in my life do, do you think i like wanted that in my life i you know some fucking retard some total fucking dipshit <laughs> like um, yeah, do you know why we don't even have a Thanksgiving of 2020? Because you gave $2,000 to, to Purple Alien God. Apparently Purple Alien God needed the two grand and not him for Thanksgiving, not even eating. He would not have even have ate Thanksgiving Day if I did not order the white trash uh, from a church. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I'm ordering for my white trash forced one, uh, piece of shit, um, <laughs> roommate at the moment, and we live here. Could you deliver, uh, could we have, possibly? Could you bring two by? Yeah, yeah, we'll be here in this amount of time. We'll give you a call. Okay. All right. Hey, pretend all narcissist wouldn't even have ate that day. He's so, he's such a piece of shit. And I, I was lying to his congregation. I, I feed her every day. Every day I slave her with the hot stove. And I make her a meal. I make her breakfast. I make pig pancakes. <laughs> and then, and then I, I, make, I make her anything she wants. Especially Thanksgiving. Oh, I slaved her with a hot stove, making the Thanksgiving meal, you know, you know, what they make for Thanksgiving. That's what I made her. That is what I made her. And she is so ungrateful. She is like the worst, almost awful person of all the, in all the world. She's such a spoiled little brat. I can't believe it. Whatever. In all reality, yeah, that's him. Total fake. Just a total liar. Yeah. And there is no forgiveness for that, but you can't. Hate? Hate is one of the worst sins. Okay, like, what's the worst sin? Hate and lust. Those two are... Well, to hate... People are, like, uh, pretending like narcissists, and he almost killed me in 2020. On his kitchen floor, trying to suffocate me to death. I mean, seriously, like, I... If I wouldn't have been able to, uh, fight him off with, I would say, godly angels help me. 
push that big. I mean, he was on top of me. Sitting on me, suffocating me to death. Okay, like, what am I supposed to do? And, you know, he could have a... Um, some type of weapon, like, right next to him. Like, a wooden... Uh, what you, uh... When you roll out dough, uh, bread, you know, on the counter, you, with flour, you have a wooden thing. And, and, you know, any, we're in the kitchen area, you could just grab the, something wooden, anything. And then what you falsely accused me of, like, for, like, a, a century over, like, you know, he told his whole church that I came after him with a knife. Yeah, what did he do? And guess what? His, his knives are hidden, so that's a fucking lie. But maybe I found my scissors that he stole. So he, he makes such a big excuse. You don't know what you did. You gave it. Like, what did you do to torture me to death? And let me tell you, he, he wasn't fragile at all. With all his fucking strength of all the demons that were in him. In 2020. He, he was not fragile at all. He, he, people don't, you know, nothing's the way it seems. Nothing is the way it seems. You would never ever think that my ex could be, like, beat up on anything. He, he's like a skinny little, you know, squirt. Just a little nothing. Yeah, I would never ever, I never thought they could actually beat up a woman. And he told me that, well, like, one of the first things, he's like, yeah, this, my boss's uh, wife, he beats her up. He's a bad guy. Well, why are you with him? Why don't you just go to the mission if you love me? If my ex would have loved me in 2021, he would have went to the mission. Because evidently all the words came out of his mouth is he absolutely hates his boyfriend boss. I didn't know that at the time. I He hates him. Oh, oh, his life is miserable all because of his boss. It's all his boss's fault. All right. Well, damn. I mean, uh, my ex had some skills with, uh, as far as, you know, being a, a hard...